Welcome to another episode of the Terry and Frank Show. Today, we're doing our final episode on belonging. I think you should absolutely hang on. But if you haven't seen this episode and you don't know who we are, let's start with a couple of introductions. I'm Frank Wander. You know, I'm the founder of People Productive, a company that creates cultures where people and the company actually thrive together. Terry? And I'm Terry Mays. I'm a certified culture engineer with experience bringing out the best in the people to help the company thrive. Yeah. Terry's great at it. And uh, listen, today we're going to talk a little bit more about belonging. If you tuned into the series, you know we've covered like what is belonging. We've gone through actually the beginnings of belonging, having the roots spread out and grow. The objective is to get the person to be as comfortable in that environment, to become part of your environment. That is what big B belonging is. It covers all these human emotional aspects. And so today we've got individuals that have come into the culture. They put down roots. What are the final things that you really want to see happening? So Tara, what do you think? Yes, absolutely. So now it's time to have some fun. Now yeah. that people are there and they're getting to know each other better, and it's not just that surface knowing each other, but you know things about each other personally, you can have some of those inside jokes. It's a time where you feel more comfortable with each other. You trust each other. You know that... Um, you can count on your teammates to do their part and they know they can count on you. So you really get this high vibe, really fun, enthusiastic culture where people are excited to be there. They wanna be there. They're super excited to be there and they wanna do their very best because they know that together they can accomplish much more than being an individual just focused on what's in it for me. So when you have people that are thinking we instead of me, the environment just really becomes a very fun environment to work in. You enjoy being around your coworkers. You're not dreading that Monday morning where I hate going into work. You don't have that feeling. You actually get energy and you're refreshed by being at work because you feel like you're doing something that's making a difference. You're adding value. And that environment feeds you as well. Yeah, I always, uh, I always loved as a leader seeing teams having fun, goofing around together. There's a level of comfort people have with one another when they really can laugh together. Teams that laugh together stay together. You want people having fun. They start to know each other well enough that, you know, these inside jokes start to share a common meaning. And people can laugh at the same thing. They get to know what people think is funny. They're comfortable, you know, having, you know, polite, friendly goofs on one another. These things help you really feel you're part of that team. That's the ultimate sense of belonging. Yeah. That you can really laugh and everybody is has just that complete comfort. And they goof around and they get more done because of it. Yes, absolutely. And this is in stark contrast to that environment where people feel like they're being bullied. Yeah. Where people are making fun people of people. Unproductive. That's right. what we did. Exactly. You know, all those personalities. Yeah. Yes. Where people feel like they're not, they're being challenged, but not in a healthy way, where they feel like um, people are kind of ganging up on them. This isn't that kind of a vibe. You know, it's a different, fun, and playful environment where people feel safe. It's not that kind of um, challenge to you that makes you feel unsafe. That's usually the tipping point when you can notice the difference between a healthy culture and a not so healthy culture when you don't feel safe in it. Your natural instincts will kick in and you will automatically know that this is not a, your, your brain will tell you this is not a safe environment. You'll know it right away. But when you're in one of these high vibe environments, um, and it's not to say that everybody is just walking around playing all the time, but you get this this lightheartedness, this joy that happens in the workplace, that's contagious. It's a joy that everybody wants to participate in. They want to feel a part of it and everybody is included. So yeah. people don't feel like they're being left out or that they're being ignored or overlooked. Everybody is a part into of it. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, the great thing is that it is contagious. Positive and negative vibes are all contagious. And you yes. want, obviously, the positive vibes to be the ones that are dominating in the environment. And that feeling of enthusiasm that people get in a place where they really love coming in, hanging out with everybody, you know, where they can have some great online meetings if they're a virtual company, they reach out to one another, they share things with one another. Uh, they love where they're heading with the company. There's that enthusiasm and vibe that they pick up. 
that is another thing that creates that deeper sense of belonging. Those positive, all these positive energies that go on. Yes. They're great. And yes, I think you hit a, on a good point as well about it being energy. So it's not necessarily something that you can physically, tangibly touch, but it's that energy you feel in the room. And a lot of times, you know, those instincts, the natural instincts, people want to ignore that and just focus in on the tangibles. But when it comes to having fun and people feel safe and feeling like they belong, these are all feelings. They're things that you can't just physically put your hands on and measure but you can tell by the way people are responding in the environment. Yeah, big time, big time. Um, you, can, you can feel it. You can feel energy. Absolutely. If you've got any sensitivity at all, you can go into an environment, you can feel the energy. You can feel if it's a down place, you can feel it's an up place, you can feel if it's a neutral place. And you know where people really belong, there's a positive energy you know, that gets magnified when they come together. Yes. You've heard many times um, stories where people, you have a woman in the elevator and then someone walks onto the elevator and they immediately feel threatened. Mm -hmm. And it's not necessarily because the person came on with a gun or anything like that, but you can talk to people that were attacked and they all have the same similar story where I felt something different negative vibe so they yeah. felt that negativity coming onto the elevator with them or they just felt like this probably was a bad idea you know those kinds of feelings are really to be trusted and respected because that's your body signaling and picking up on the frequencies around you and that's just the way we were wired that's the way, the, the oh. way we were created yes people have lost a lot of that Yes. People were much more in tune with their environment and these feelings, you know, because humans at one time didn't speak. Let's face it, there was this pre language period where the vibe was everything. So people were very, very in tune at one time. And, you know, it's interesting when they had uh, those giant tsunamis back in 2004, you know, all the animals picked up on the vibe that this thing was coming and they were all right. left the shore they headed up the hills you know some some of the humans did you know the tribal people knew it was coming and they got out of there but the tourists were all like oh look the water's going out this is cool yes. they're clueless they just yes. lost touch so humans had incredible sensitivity to the environment and the people around them at one time and people have that they can develop it but there is that vibe you feel and in a place where there's a real sense of belonging that vibe is there no question Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, just so important for people to realize that it's a real thing, you know, yeah. that vibe mm -hmm. and people having that joy and excitement at work. It's necessary for productivity. It's not just about being a goof off and never getting anything done. It's not about that either. You've got to have some balance with it, but it's very much needed. People need that stress relief because most of us are working in jobs where it is a high level of stress. There is a lot of activity and a lot of work that has to get done. And so you want to have those times where it's a down period for people to recharge, for people to feel refreshed, where they can just relax yep. and have some fun. And it's absolutely needed to build those healthy relationships in the environment. Oh yeah, it actually strengthens relationships tremendously. So I think this is good. You know, there is another, one more belonging topic we should probably cover, which is that whole innate, the area of enablement. Cause you can't really have a sense of belonging if you're in a broken place. As good that's, as it could true. be, it, it lessens your desire to be there. And right. I think we've got to cover that. And that is the topic we're going to go over next week. Enabling belonging. How about that? Yes, I like it. So listen, folks, don't forget to smack the bell. Please subscribe. Yes. A lot of great episodes. We're going to be covering some really cool topics as we go through and have new series on different things. So next week, we'll finish out belonging. We'll get into, you know, enabling belonging. Very, very important. You want to hit on all cylinders, that's certainly one of them. Yes. And make sure you share and like and, you know, share it with your friends. We are live on Wednesdays at 4 Eastern. So make sure you join us. 
But even if you can't join us, you can always watch the replays. We'd love to have you guys comment and give us some feedback on what the videos yep. meant to you, what kind of impact, or if they're helpful, even if you have topics that you'd like us to discuss. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, we'd love the comments. We'd love the feedback. We'd love you to come live and ask questions. Uh, yes. we there to answer, no problem. But, um, you know, just watching the videos, commenting, subscribing, sharing, that, that helps get the word out. Belonging matters. We're here to make the world a better place so that people and the com companies and the people that work there all thrive together. That's what this has yeah. to come down to. Humans are assets. Assets need to be grown. And um, that's why we want to share how to build great workplaces. Yes. All, all right. right. Ari Vidurci. See you next week. Bye. -bye. Bye.